What's going on, you guys? Daniel Cruz here. We're back with another episode of Cook with Cruz. Just how I mentioned in uh, last week's episode, I said I was going to do a song that I had produced. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. I'm going to be going over You Different by Devon Terrell. Um, super glad I was able to be a part of this record. Um, came out really dope. It's uh, available on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. You know, do your Googles, make sure you all caught up. But yeah, just like in the uh, previous video, I'm going to go over all the VSTs, everything that I did, just breaking down um, everything, playing out everything, just so you guys can see uh, what really went down uh, when I made the beat for the record. So let's jump into it. from this is actually kind of funny what uh, made me want to start and write that uh, melody I was just sitting on my phone probably doing nothing and uh, the TV was on in the background and one of the nationwide commercials came on with uh, Leslie Odom jr. and the one where he's playing the keys you have a side that's safe for her to go out of state now she's in and you can celebrate side whoa those are some fire chords so i don't know that just like sparked it in me to just like oh man i gotta go write something now you know so um that's what just uh i guess the main inspiration that started the beat was from that commercial which is kind of funny so yeah so for that that piano for what i used i used a uh, keyscape um the preset was lonely basement wing upright and out here in the mixer Put some reverb and some EQ on it just to get it uh, the sound that it has. So after I had the keys down, that was like my foundation. So I just wanted to build from there, just whatever came to my mind. Next thing I added was a pad from Omnisphere. Analog power sweep pad. Basically just played out the chords just to layer the uh, piano to make it sound a little more full here. So. Most of the time uh, what I do I'll start adding in a bass just to give it that fuller sound. Let's see what we had for a bass that I used. Bass face and fades in Omnisphere. This is what I uh, played on top of what we have so far. <laughs> to the beat what I like to do a lot is add like little percussive uh, like loops in the back just very subtle but just to I guess give it some sort of effect this is the uh, the raw file that I had <laughs> sounds pretty terrible I know but through some sound design here i made it sound a little better i put um phase mistress got some filter freak some eq to cut those piercing highs out a little bit of delay as well and on top of all that this is uh this is what it sounds like after all the effects See, not as bad anymore. So now all together we had So at this point, I really wanted to add some guitar. Honestly, I'm not the best guitar player, especially when it comes to playing chords. And uh, 
I guess, transitioning between them. So what I did was recorded the first chord, punched out, punched back in the second chord and so on, just so I can, you know, have it flow better because I couldn't play the chords just flat out, you know, one take through. So uh, with that being said, this is basically what I did for recording it. <laughs> So now I got the guitar chords recorded just like that. So through extensive editing and witchcraft, I was able to um, make myself sound like a halfway decent guitar player. So as you can see here, I cut it up. You can see kind of where I punched in and out. As far as the effects, guitar rig, the uh, fields of SEO comp. For those of you that want to play at home and struggle to play these chords just like I did, uh, that's the preset I used, and some EQ put somewhat of a band pass on it. So, all together, this is what I had for the uh, guitar. <laughs> Once I got to this point, I wanted to jump into the verse, and especially for R&B records, I like to have the verse feel very open for the artist, so they have a lot of room for their uh, vocals. So what I did was take the chords that I had and put them into a different sound. I knew I wanted some type of pluck sound, um, just going through, you know, good old Omnisphere here. I came across dark pluck sonar. This is what I did for the start of the verse here, so. So that was the sound that I wanted to achieve for the uh, verse. The next thing I added was a vocal chop. I'll play the raw file for you. It's from one of uh, Mantra's kits, I believe. He's got some really dope stuff. And then I chopped it up. So this is what the raw file sounds like. <laughs> so what I did with that is I pitched it down through some reverb, some uh, EQ onto it, and I ended up chopping it up um, so it came out like this. So what I did after this, this is something I actually been doing a lot lately too, a lot of my beats. It's a, I guess a cool effect to do to some instruments. Basically, I took the guitar that I tried to play earlier and rendered it into a single audio clip here, so. So what I'll do is I'll take it, I'll play it in reverse, and throw some tremolator on it. And I think it gives, you know, Instruments a real cool effect. I do it on guitars and piano a lot. So you, it might sound a little familiar if you're uh, Familiar with some of my beats. This is what it uh, ended up sounding like right here <laughs> To me at that point it was like done like instrumentation wise only thing i just needed was a bass this is what i use for the bass on the verse chameleon vibe bass i use this one a lot one of my favorite presets this is what we got for the bass here <laughs> thing I added for the verse was this uh, like percussion style snare that just plays on top of everything so
So once I had that, I wanted to drop the drums for the verse now. This is what I had for the drums. This is what I came up with right here. Basically what I got for the drums, what I came up with. It's just a bunch of different um, drums from different packs that I got. See what it sounds like all together with the uh, verse here. Okay, so now for the the last eight, I basically just brought back the piano that we played from the beginning. I brought in the 808 right here. Um, just yeah, just brought back the piano, added the 808, took out the other bass, added a little transition effect right here to make it drop. Added this little clap into the drums too. So this is what it's gonna sound like going into that second half of the verse right here, so. After the verse, we go back in, we go actually into the pre-hook, which is basically what I made in the very beginning when I was building. So this is what it's going to sound like coming up. right here um, I added a couple more things this is like a percussion like clock loop that I added to make the drums sound a little more full this uh, gated pad here called let's see floating sensations um, I added into just to, again make it sound a bit more full <laughs> Okay, I also took that, if you remember what I did earlier in Edison with the guitar, and then I reversed it in the tremolator. Um, I had I have the same actual clip, but it's played forward with tremolator on top. So this is what it sounds like right here. I added this into the hook as well. <laughs> much else like the beat was like already done to me so again coming into the hook this is like the only things that I had <laughs> different um, you can find it anywhere um, again keep hitting me with feedback on these videos I'm kind of just doing everything on the fly improv I don't write no script for these or nothing again I'm just trying to show you guys how I do what I do just let you know all my secrets everything that I use so um, again I appreciate you watching I'll be back next week we'll be doing another beat I'll be breaking it down so Oh, and don't forget, please subscribe to the channel if you can. It would mean uh, a lot to me. Hit the bell, too, so you don't miss these videos. Hit the like button. Hit the dislike button. If you think this is trash, I don't care. Um, I appreciate all the love and hate. So, again, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.